Facebook. How are you? It's your girl Zykira Casado here to give you a plant update. So last night, if you live in the Carolinas, you know, oh gosh, why is it so bright? You know that we had like a crazy storm. And one of the things that I did was bring my green pepper plants inside because when I went outside, he looked like this. <laughs> His neck looked like it was going to break. And we've been having so much progress. How come I look so dark in this video? Okay. He was having so much progress. I said to myself, all right. Okay. I won't be here long, but I want to show y'all some of my progress i'm excited okay how i turn this around boom this is one of the plants remember all the flowers kept falling off and i was getting discouraged but this is what green this is all heirlooms this is a reiterate hey sex how are you these are all heirlooms meaning that the seeds came from an actual green pepper that i've brought and i just took the seeds out now this is it actually grew like this so these here are they flower out, then they their flower like bunches backwards, and then it's, well, I'll show you this plant, because I had to bring them inside, because I was not letting my plants die last night, and that storm was serious. Okay, let me turn the light on. So, they first flower out like this, all pretty. That's going to be a big green pepper. I'm being, I'm good being greedy right now. I know that's right. I'm about to eat me another sandwich in the second too. <laughs> but look, so they flower out like this. Now I want you guys to understand that this entire plant, all of this and all of this is from a seed out of the green pepper that I actually brought from the store. Okay. And then they, then they started off like this. I still have some out here, but these are protected like in the greenhouse. And then they sprout up like this, okay? All right, and then they end up like this, okay? Can those be grown inside? They can. The only danger about growing them inside is that, um, like, these would be good. The only thing that I'm fearing is bugs, and I know that bugs probably are, well, I don't think that they're on here right now, but bugs you can tell from... If you grow them originally inside, that won't be a problem. But yes, they can be grown inside. So look, um, so as the when it flowers like this, okay, first it starts off like this, and then it starts to flower. I'm trying to find one like here. That's going to turn into a flower, but then it's going to pop backwards. Hey, Demetrius. Yes, richbefore30.com. He's the founder, guys. And then it's going to, like the flower is going to have its head, like you see how it's going backwards? And if you're doing it indoors, there's a couple things I'm going to say, I'm going to explain a couple things that you have to do if you're doing it indoors. So, after it pounces back, it's going to start looking crazy like the plant's eating it. But that's the actual green pepper. It's going to grow over it. All right? So if I flip through here, we have a lot of green peppers coming. Like that's some coming, those are some coming, and that's going to be a fat, juicy one, okay? Now, maybe in two days, this will have a good bottom, and the bottom will look like this, okay? So look, you see that there? That is a actual pepper. This is going to be a small pepper because it's a small it didn't grow in once it starts to fruit um once it actually starts to fruit then that's the size about the size you're going to get it's going to blossom some more but yeah let me see i just literally threw away the seeds of four peppers. now four bell peppers is a lot of seeds and of course the reason why you want to use a lot of those seeds is because um you know all of them are not going to survive like i did throw out a plant that stopped fruiting as a matter of fact this plant here is kind of not fruiting so well not this one this one this is actually separate um it looks like it looks like it's going to fruit in just a second um it looks like it might fruit but yes 
but that's a lot of seed so be prepared for a harvest now what i do is i do uh let me try to open this give me one second, guys so y'all can see this let me open this and you can get a little greenhouse right on amazon for less than 40 bucks okay so inside of here we have crazy weather right now because it keeps getting hot and cold these are all tomatoes okay these can be grown inside too but these are there's indigenous and then there's indigenous or something like that that might be the wrong word <laughs> but these means that these can grow so long and so big and you can see that they were been damaged a little bit because of the storm but these can grow endlessly all right because these are tomatoes on the vine these aren't like roman tomatoes the little 99 cent ones the roman tomatoes so you know if you ever buy the fruit on the, i mean the tomatoes on the vine tomatoes on a vine they are expensive so you buy one and then you grow them it takes a while though so if you do it inside that's your best bet because when you do it inside um you know you can control the temperature you can do all of that so yes you can start them inside and i want to keep them inside but what i think i'm going to do because the weather's so crazy and i don't want this plant to die um i have some tomato on the vine yeah so if you cut it up this is what i do you take a paper towel because all seeds have a covering over it you take a paper towel you put the seeds on there and you let them grow in a ziploc bag you blow it in if you look at my videos previously and i'll see if i could tag you sax and you just put it in a windowsill and watch it grow the roots will grow inside the bag and that kind of gives it a good start and then you put it in the soil and after you put it in the soil that's that so i'm going to come back towards the end of the month um so that you guys could see i think that that green pepper over here will be ready to harvest i'm not sure but look at him he's so cute green peppers take a while okay so if you're going to start them in in the house start them soon or towards the end of the winter because they take a good three months like if you go way back to the very first video that i started these green peppers they're almost as tall as me but this is from the freaking green pepper that i brought from the store is amazing and what encouraged me and to do this whole foods are breaking my pockets <laughs> yes and so you can grow your own food and like look at this it's we have potentially i'm gonna say potentially because i don't want to jinx myself and be on a realist we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen um that's 13 on one plant that's on one plant and once you actually harvest these uh like this one is like i said this one's gonna be a big a good one that's gonna see look at that that can come off you can actually i didn't even know that could come off look at that so you can actually see the little bottom of the green pepper he's so cute i like i literally cried the other day when i ah, when i actually noticed that it was actually a green pepper i cried because this is hard <laughs> You know, it's so many variables. If you grow it inside, you have to pollinate them because they have to be pollinated, okay? And like when I, y'all don't understand, I've, I've killed so many plants on my journey to getting real food in the house because my dream is to go, hey, BB, Zykeer, Zaire, can y'all go get a green pepper? Go get a tomato. And we actually don't have to go to the store. Like, that. I'm so excited. But anyway, so when you grow inside, certain natural things won't happen like pollination you have to pollinate the plant and you just shake it like this or just get a um q-tip and just go like that and go like that because they have to be pollinated or they'll the flowers will drop the flowers don't always mean that they're dropping because the plant is unhealthy the flowers can drop because the flat the plant is so smart that it knows if you know if i produce 20 bell peppers on this side of the plant i might die 
because it'll be too heavy and it'll break the stem. So it'll drop some if it feels it'll be too heavy. Um, but you can look at the leaves like here, something happened, whether it's, it could be a number of things. This could be from a bug that was eating on it. Again, I just brought these in the house yesterday because we had a storm overnight. Or it could be that it needs calcium, okay? Uh, it's so many different things. But your plant, your green pepper could stop like, oh, look at this one. Oh, my gosh, I didn't see him. He's so cute. Look at that. That's another one. All right. And all of these little bulbs are going to flower like this one. It's going to pounce back. And then it'll drop the flower. And like this one here, you'll see this. They're so cute. These, my, I wonder if these are jalapenos. Cause I don't look like no daggone green pepper. They're like a jalapeno. Oh my God, I'm mixed up. Anyway, so like see here, sometimes it drops it. Like this, it dropped this one for whatever the reason. That means you're not going to get a green pepper. All right, so that's the update. I'll come back at the end of the month. But I want you guys, you don't know what could happen. Let's learn how to grow our food. It's so simple. Last one, last update. I did do some basil. And this are how... I these were jalapenos but these are all jalapeno peppers so each one of these like one like i want you to get this this is why i think god is trying to tell us we're supposed to eat lots of vegetables and fruit because look how much you get this is from one uh, jalapeno so this one plant you see this is like 50 but this one plant will produce that like well if these were or if these were green peppers this is how they actually look because peppers are like in the same family. But this one would become that big giant one. And this is basil. This is called opal basil. God, it smells so good. It smells so gosh, gosh. And you can, I can literally pick this off, clean it and cook with it. But I'm going to let it get really, really, really tall. Um, and again, yes, sacks, you can get a greenhouse. Hi, Shirley. Thanks for watching. If you found this to be helpful, all I ask is to share. I got to go because we have this big event November 4th that I'm promoting and people are calling me and I have to call them and make sure that they get the information. And this here, you can just pull it off, put this in some spaghetti sauce or even in um, basil works well with curry dishes also. Um, check me out at healthiestsexytv.com. Um, I have a book on Rich Before 30. Um, it doesn't have anything about gardening, but it's a nice transition book into the healthiest, sexy life. I love you guys. Thank you all for your support so much. It means a lot. And you guys have a blessed one. See you later. Gotta go. They calling my phone. They blowing me up.